they use the steps or other, they use a wheelchair where you put them on your bus and then you transfer them into a seat. Or you use a wheelchair that you put them in your bus and you use the four point webbing system with. Yeah. So your paperwork will say they transfer or you strap them in. You'll have all the details regarding what is wrong with that particular person that's coming onto your vehicle. Whether it's a walking, whether it's a Zimmer frame, whether they're blind, whether they're deaf, whether they're wheelchair, whether they're transferable, whether it's a scooter, you, you don't know. You don't know who you're going to get over the period prior to you starting until you see that list coming through. Now, some of the things you need to know is the types of different wheelchairs they have out there. And there are various different types they have out there, like manuals, which these ones are. And the other ones they have are electric, where somebody's got a little toggle here that they can make the wheelchair go backwards and forwards and that kind of thing there. Those are the things you've got to look at as a wheelchair. So, you've got two types. You've got the um, propelled, which will be this one here. Yeah? And propelled means that I'm going to push it. Yeah? So you always have somebody behind who's going to push it. And the telltale sign is the wheels. Yeah? They've got four smaller wheels. Now, when you look at self propelled, that means that the person who's sitting in it can actually move it for themselves. You'll have the bigger wheels where they can grab on the side and literally move it backwards and forwards as they want. Mm -hmm. So, propelled, self-propelled, yeah, mm -hmm. that's what you're looking at as a wheelchair, yeah, and then you have your, your, your different one, which would be your electric, which has this little toggle on the top that somebody moves backwards and forwards, yeah, those are the systems that they have up in place out there at this present moment. Now, when you're looking at a wheelchair, you as a driver has to do what we call a risk assessment and looking at a wheelchair what would you look at as a risk assessment on a wheelchair what kind of things would you be looking for fittings and what fittings yeah what else those tires uh, now again when you're looking at tires brakes. the different brakes. types of tires yeah. hard tires or tires with psi in them PSI, yeah. you know what i mean because again, depending on the weight of the person, yeah, if you haven't got enough air in that tire, the brakes don't work. You know what I mean? Because the brake, what happens is the brakes are literally going on the top of the tread, holding it in place. If the PSI is low, it now means these brakes are, are non-working. Yeah? So again, you're looking at the aesthetics of the vehicle, of the wheelchair, all around. Brakes are working. Tires are pumped up, and again, other things like, say, for instance, say, foot plates. Yeah? Never ever take a wheelchair out if these are missing. Yeah? That's where their feet go. And imagine somebody who's in a wheelchair has possibly got no feelings in their feet. And if they haven't got these, and you're pushing the wheelchair, what's happening is the foot's going at the back, and it's dragging on the floor, where it could become raw, red raw, where they could get an infection. Straightforward and simple. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So, how many of you guys have used the wheelchair before? All right, can you come and open this wheelchair for me, please? Okay. Right, stop there. Let me show you guys in one single, simple movement how you open a wheelchair. Here, here, push down. That's how you open the wheelchair. Okay. Very simple. How you close the wheelchair? Fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. 
Simple way of opening and closing the wheelchair. I've got to remember, right, a lot of them have got the old wheelchairs. But even the old wheelchairs open and close the same way. Do it same again. Same function. Please but do it again. this one, this one's a slightly older one, yeah? Same principle. I put my fingers here and I push down. So it'll always be that kind of thing there. Because when you look at the back of a wheelchair, you've got that same cross hatch. Which now means when I pull it up, it, it closes up. Mm -hmm. So all the wheelchairs are designed in the same manner. manner. How to fold them, how to, how to put them away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So whether they're brand new, 20th century, or Stone Age, they come under the same folding mechanisms. I just have some crappy ones that work and they work so easy. Well, the older you get, the older they get, the more difficult they are to use because they're worn. Mm -hmm. they're, they're gone past, to me, they've gone past their sell-by dates. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's the kind of thing that you've got to kind of think about. So, when I open my wheelchair, straightforward and simple, yeah? Things I'm looking for on this wheelchair to make sure that, number one, it's fit for purpose. Hand grips, they're intact. One thing you don't want to be doing is going down a hill and all of a sudden you've got two hand grips in your hand and it's going down the road. Because <laughs> it, it can happen. Yeah, yeah. true. Again, brakes are working. Mm. It's not going nowhere. Mm. So whether a wheelchair's been used or not used, the brakes are always on. So if this, if this is in the corner, and I'm not using it, my brakes are going to be on. The danger is, is that, say for instance, say, I'm walking, I've got a disability, I feel a bit tired, and I want to lean against something, and there's a wheelchair there, automatically, I'm going to lean against it. As soon as I lean against it, mm. the wheelchair's gone. So the whole object of is pop the brakes on it, They know that. <laughs> See what I mean? That's the whole purpose of that, okay. having it there. Also, what I've got to look at is again the belt. What's the importance of the belt? They want Why should them. a passenger always have a belt on when you're taking them out on the journey? They won't fall, fall down. down. Not so much fall out. It's like a car. Seatbelt in the car, you might just jerk forward. Yes. They don't get out of the seat. Yes and no. One of the things we, we kind of think about, once you've got somebody in a wheelchair and you're taking them down the road, you could be taking them down the road, they've got no um, strength in their legs. Mm -hmm. You're going over bumps. So as you're going over the bumps, what's happening? We call it submarining. So in theory, yeah. And before you know it, they're like that. Mm. Guarantee you, you will not be able to lift them. They're dead weight. Mm. You can't get underneath your arm to lift them because they're not in a position to lift them. Mm. So that's why we have the seatbelt in. And all the seatbelt it does, it maintains them in that position. Yeah? Mm. So they don't come out, they don't, fall, they don't fall out, they don't submarine underneath, it holds them in place. So you as a driver, has to make sure, and a passenger system, that anybody using a wheelchair has got their seatbelt on. And sometimes you can't see it, but you've got to be able to see it. Is it all the uh, all you wheelchairs got the, got should seat have belt? seat belts. Right. Yeah, you cannot transfer anybody onto your minibus or anywhere without a seat belt on. Okay. Yeah. The additional seat belts we put on them for on the four point weather system. <clears throat> is to save them in the event of a crash. This is to keep them in place to stop them from sliding underneath. Mm. Straightforward and simple, yeah? When you look at a wheelchair, you have what we classify as footstools, mm. yeah? Mm. That's where they put their feet on, mm. okay? And who's used a wheelchair before? Put this on for me.
invisible. Get you. Yeah. Again. Yeah. And then from yeah. here, yeah. line up the top and the bottom, it falls down. Yeah? Okay. And then clip it into place. Okay. Yeah? Okay. To release it, pull the catch, pull it out at an angle, and lift it straight up. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Never try to put on a footstool from the front here because this is going to fail. Okay, so if I put this back on, This is an accessory. Mm. So in other words, they're charging them for everything on a wheelchair now. Mm. And as, a, as somebody who um, uses wheelchairs, loads wheelchairs, you want to know what every single piece does. Well, this is good for safety, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah. It's good to... You don't want to, somebody bring something out and you, you, you're trying to put it around here, you're trying to put it around here. You, look, you don't look professional. You need to know where every piece of apparatus that they could bring out, where it goes. Something like this, quick diagnostics, two pieces of Velcro, foot stops it from falling back. Mm -hmm. Straightforward and simple, perfect. Also, sitting on a wheelchair, are they, is the footstools adjusted right? So what they're saying now, is your foot should be at a 90 degree. At the moment now, is my foot at a 90 degree? No. 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 What would I use to make it at a 90 degree? How could I use, what could I use to change the position of my feet so they're more comfortable? Pushing the feet up. Thank you. Cushion. All right, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Now I've got cushion. See how better my feet are now? Yeah. Mm. You know what I mean? So something as simple as a cushion. Number one, cushions the ride. Number two, keeps the legs at a perfect angle. Mm. Something like that is what you need. You know what I mean? As somebody, <coughs> and as doing a risk assessment, you look at, as the person come out with their cushion, which is not really your problem. Your problem is making sure they've got their belt on. But also, depending on how long they're at this position, if they're up there like this for, all day long, how uncomfortable is that going to be? You're putting a lot of pressure on your kind of pelvis area where it could be relaxed here, mm. yeah? So again, making sure that the cushions are set right, the right height. Also, when you're doing any forms of manoeuvring, yeah? Now, with a wheelchair, some things you've got to look at, I want to go up and down a curb, yeah? A lot of people will be doing this, yeah? yeah. Now, no, you've got a foot here, yeah. yeah, which, you know what I mean? You're using your foot to do it, rather than you're using this here. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing you've got to think about when you're using this here is, that's what could happen. Mm -hmm. yes. That's only held by a couple of pins. Mm -hmm. And if you've got the person at that here, and they release, that wheelchair's gonna do that, you're gonna injure the person. Mm. Straightforward and simple. Mm -hmm. So it's things like that you've got to think about when you're looking at it. Other things you've got to look at, operational wise, is this wheelchair got things where somebody may want to transfer into a seat? How would I do it? Yeah? 
Easiest way. It's got catch here. Lifts up. The person then slides onto the seat. If you want to go this side, lifts up. Person slides this way. You put a board there, a banana board as they call it, and they can use it to slide over from one seat to another, left or right, depending on where you, you want to do it. Which is, again clips down back in place. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you've got footstools. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Brakes. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Tires. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You've got all around aesthetic of the vehicle, the wheelchair, sorry. You've got seat belt. You've got grips. You've got foots. Those are all the things you're looking at on a wheelchair to make sure that it's fit for purpose. Yeah? And if at any particular time you are pushing a wheelchair, really struggling, that's not the right way to do it. Get it risk assessed, there's something wrong. The wheelchair is too heavy, too big for you. Yeah? You're putting pressure on your lower back, which you, you shouldn't be putting pressure on your lower back. That's the thing you've got to kind of think about from here. You've got to be able to push a wheelchair nice and simply, nice and easy. Yeah? Also, there's something called the brake position of a wheelchair. Can anybody tell me what the brake position of a wheelchair is? Any idea what the brake position of a wheelchair is? Or the parked position? What's the parked position of a wheelchair? Anybody? Parked position? No? Uh, sideways, maybe? Huh? Sideways. No. 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 Look at this way, right? At the moment now, it's in its normal position for pushing forward, yeah? One of the problems is, you as a driver or an assistant may put the person on the side of the road, and or on the pavement, sorry, and you're getting the tail lift out. That person then, is somebody who can get in and out of their wheelchair quite easily, you know what I mean? And you're not looking, they pop the seat belts off, and all of a sudden they try to get out of the wheelchair. Look what happens. Yeah, it tips over. Now, if I put this position in this wheelchair in the park position, yeah, by pulling it back, right, and then I've got in it. And then try to get up. So Is it tipping? The, the brake no, The wheel has to be straight. That? The wheel has to be straight. Right. Looking at the wheelchair from the side, which is an easier way for me to show you. Now, when a wheelchair's in that position, the wheels are like this. Yeah. The bracket. Yeah? The bracket, yeah. Which, again, the footprint is small. So, it's easy to tip it up. Now, if I go forward and put it back, you see? Look at the wheels now, they've gone this way. <coughs> so what they've done, from that footprint, they've gone to that footprint. Which now means you've got wider area, which now means you can't tip it up as much. Yeah? That's what it is. So what are you doing? Keep the wheel straight or you turn Yeah, down. that way, normal, oh. in normal pushing position, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when we talk about the park position, if you put it back, the wheels change. Will it not still push forward? Is it? It'll still go forward, but stationary from there to there is wider, which means it's harder for, to pull up. If that goes from there, from there to there is shorter. Yeah? So the wider footprint means it's harder to tip up. The smaller footprint means it's easier to tip up. Get it? Yeah. yeah Makes yeah. sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the basic, what you're looking at on these kind of wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. So if I push this one to one side, and I bring out this one, yeah? I'm not gonna put the footstools on, but what it's got, it's got two sets of brakes. Yeah? It's got brakes up here for the, <coughs> person pushing it, mm -hmm. and it's got brakes down here for the service user. So it's got dual brakes, they both work the same, 
but they're working separately. Because I can be going downhill and I'm tired. Oh, I press this, it gives me a rest. I'm not holding the wheelchair because there's no brakes on it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't have to get my service user to put the brakes on because I'm, I'm, I'm whole. It's like that. I can hold it like that and stand there, get my breath back, and then continually push on. You know what I mean? And that's why I say with this one here, you've got to make sure that the PSI in the tyres are correct. They're inflated to the right PSI. <coughs> also, this chair, compared to this chair, this is a one that they use in the hospital to just bring the passengers out to the bus, put them on the tail lift, put them in the bus, they transfer into a seat. Because this one here hasn't got enough strength in it for crash testing. In other words, it's not one that you can strap up. Straightforward and simple. Yeah. This one here is more heavy duty. And as you can see, more stern, and you can use it for strapping up because the welds are a lot stronger and things. This one here is only held by a couple of little bolts. So if you look at the side here, what you're seeing is a couple of little bolts are holding that. Under pressure, that's only held by about three mil bolt. That can pop. Where that one is quite sturdy and held by a lot of bolts and things in there, yeah? Any questions so far, guys? No? Everybody happy with that? Yeah. yeah. Right, so what we're going to do now, just for strapping up purposes, I'm just going to take these off. Will they have their own wheelchairs? They have a come from the other. Sorry? Will they have their own wheelchairs? Yes. Everybody, most people have got wheelchairs that are allocated, that have got their own wheelchairs for going to use it, because again, you pick them up from a certain place, home, drop them to the centre, you take them back home depending on what's going on. Yeah? It's only if you've got somebody who's transferring in a seat, who is a walker, but can only walk for short distances now, maybe use one of those just to get from the centre to your bus, onto a seat, and then when you get to the other end, someone's with another wheelchair, where they take them off your bus, into their house, and they go and sit on their chair or whatever from there on in. They have, there's somebody who can only walk short distances because they lose their breath quite easily. Yeah? And that base is there. So, what I'm going to do now is pop this up here. Here's my mate Jimmy. Guys, this is Jimmy. Hi, He's Jimmy. my little friend for today. He's the one that we use to do all the strapping up. So, my mate Jimmy will sit here in the chair. And when you talk about clamps, we use various different clamps. One for the front, two for the front. Okay? Then, One for the back, two for the back, okay? Seat belt. Stalk, yeah? The very first things you do, these in. Okay? How this works, you've got tracks. Rest it in the track. Yeah? Like that. See the serrated bit on the back? Just push it down and push forward. To release it, pull this up, pull back, it pops out. You will have these tracks on the minibus. Yep, you'll have these tracks on the minibus. On the floor. On the floor. All of them embedded in the floor already. Yeah? Same with this one, exactly the same place. Push down and straight it, pull forward. Yeah? Pull my wheelchair forward. Okay? Now with this, what I need to do is go inside, out. Yeah? 
-hmm. And what I mean by inside out is I want this push button always facing on the outside. Yeah, it's accessibility for you in the event of an accident, literally to be able to in smoke or in, in, in inhalation, throw down that mini bus and release it. Yeah, so again, with this one, it would be inside out. Yeah, so that's like that. Then what I'll do is pull my wheelchair back. So what I'm doing is I'm taking up what you call the slack on the wheelchair. Yeah, so all the slack has been taken up. And when you look at these, both of these are on the outside. Okay? Secondary, I've got these here. Yeah? And you don't want them, you don't want them like that. You want them where that's on the inside. So your ratchet would always be on the inside. So what I'll do then, same principle again, line it up. Yeah, and push forward, press the yellow button at the back, put it out, yeah, so in theory what I'm doing, that yellow button, if I press it down and put it out, I can release it, it will stay there, when I want to take up the slack, that takes up the slack, okay, so again with this one, once I've done it, then this will go just above the nut, you see where the nut is, that will clip into there, Okay, take up the slack, job done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, same with this one, here. Go forward. Yeah, so they're parallel going across. Okay, yeah. So again with this one, pull it out, release it. Pop this in here. Then, take up the slack. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Wind it up. Yeah? So once I've done that, I now can release this, brakes. Is that wheelchair going in there? I'm sorry, mm -hmm. because that's how it's been held. Pop that back on. From here, I've got my stalk. Okay? Now, the stalk would always go to the aisle. So say this was the window. So my stalk is going to be here. Okay? So that will be there. Okay? So in an emergency, I can release everything by coming down the aisle of the bus. <coughs> Split inertia on my seatbelt. Pop that in place. And remember, they're all facing outwards. So your yellow, yellows will be out that way. Your yellows will be out this way, okay? Then I've got my black part of my seatbelt, which is my mid-drift, yeah? Bit that goes around my stomach. Through here, down the side here, underneath Jimmy's arms, through here. Lift up Jimmy's arms again, through here, down the side, and clicks into place. Okay? There's a belt already on there before, isn't it? The He's got a belt that's going around it. Mm -hmm. But this is a different belt. Yeah, this is this is the one, this is the seatbelt one. So the first belt would be the belt that's holding him in place. The second belt would be the way we there in case there's an incident where you have to break hard. Yeah? Now you'll have the red part of the seatbelt where you pull out, okay, up and over his shoulder. Yeah? underneath his arms, and it follows the exact same path as the red. And that clips into there, and you take up the slack there. Yeah? <coughs> now, at the back of here, you may have somebody turn around and say, um, John, the seatbelt on my shoulder is too tight. You've got a clamp off system at the back here. I don't know if you guys want to come around and have a look at it. Yeah? So there's a little clamp off system here. Right here. Yeah? If you guys can see, want to see that. Now, if, this, if he says it's too tight, I just take up a little bit, and then 
I clamp it off, mm -hmm. which will now, it's not as tight on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. It still works on the upwards and going backwards motion, but it'll only go back in a certain amount, but it won't clamp his shoulder down. How's this going? Yeah. Yeah? It's just a, it's just a press button. Yeah? So if I leave it off, I'll lift it off. Also, somebody was talking about um, somebody taking their seatbelt off. Mm. Somebody yes, always yes. taking kids off. So what you do, a lot of organisations are using this, is pop that on there and pop that on there. Try and take that seatbelt off. You can't. Yeah, you can't. No, I can't no. It's locked. Yeah. It's, locked. Mm -hmm. it's called a seatbelt buckle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's for kids who keep on removing their seatbelts. Yeah. You have this. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a key. And all you do, from here, in here, pops it and releases it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So you've got your seatbelt buckle that you could use when you're out and about. If you've got a child that's using, uh, who keeps on taking off their seatbelt. Also, you've got one where you call it a Houdini harness where it goes over the head, through the legs, comes around the back and it attaches around the back. Yeah. So they can't get out of the seat because it's, it's actually locked in the back of the seat. Mm -hmm. So it's another way of kids yeah. not, not getting out of their seats or undoing their seat belts mm -hmm. using various different things. Could you use this on the other back here? No, 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 it's only for here. It's only for here. That's, that's what that's designed for, problem children, who, and even when they're sitting in a seat and you're not using this, and they're using the normal seatbelt in, in the minibus, you can put this on it too. Yeah? That's what, yeah. Not the seatbelt that's attaching them oh. to the two, you know, like a Houdini harness or anything like that. The actual seatbelt that's in the minibus, you'd use that if you've yes, got a problem right. child with oh, the okay. authorization mm -hmm. from your company. Mm -hmm. Yeah? So if the child releases himself, you've got to get authorized to use that. Yes. Okay. You can't just use it. Oh, okay. Your company has to do a risk assessment to find out what was going on, why the kid was taken out, and start using this by putting paperwork in place to say, yes, we're using a buckle on a minibus for child John Jones mm -hmm. yeah. because he keeps on re, uh, re um, doing his seatbelt. It, it just comes under the health and safety okay. side of it. Yeah? That's how it comes. You're looking to release it. So the only way you release that is pull that there. Now lift that up and pull back. Pull it back. And that's it. Put it in. Line it up. Just line it. No, don't touch the yellow bit. Line it up. Now push on the straighty bit at the back. Push it forward. That's how it puts into place.